I love these. I've just planted this, um, this hanging basket here. It's for when lorries and things are reversing. They go into the yard and they come back and it's red so they see it. But look, it matches my nasturtiums and those Annabelle hydrangeas, but I absolutely love it. And then there's this, um, oh, I can't remember what these are called. I'm being stupid. I'm so tired. So many people here. Anyway, this is the, on the top. And then I have this down here with this lovely flower. And this is a dahlia that is lovely in orange as well, but all the blossoms are over for the moment. So as you can see, the siblings are being bold. Java is always bold with Maya. Always trying to pull her around. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, when this blooms again, I will show you, but um, I love this combination of these. I know what these are called and I just can't think. And these petunias, I love it. I'm really pleased with that arrangement. And we're going off to do some work in the field. Yay, this corral now, it's very visible. I had to take down that whole area of nettles. There's still an area of nettles there for the butterflies and the bees and the insects. But this area of nettles, this area of nettles, this little corral has um, replanted. My whole family was here. Well, not my whole family, nearly the whole family was here. And um, we planted these trees. I'm gonna have to do more tending of them. This one I'm hoping won't be dead dead, but it's right next to a beech tree, which takes time. Then we have a horse chestnut here. And we come over here and there's more horse chestnut. Then we have, this is a bird cherry. So I'm really excited about that growing on. Um, this bird cherry, I took a cutting. This is a three or four year old bird cherry. And over here, another horse chestnut a sycamore, then over here is an oak tree. It's kind of slightly overshadowed by this beech tree, but um, my sister-in-law decided this was a good place. So I let her plant that there. And then this uh, horse chestnut. Then we have a rowan. I have a whole, there's about eight rowans we planted yesterday. This is a, um, silver birch or a birch, not quite sure. It's one that I sowed from seed. Here's another oak tree. The acorns of this I got at Johnstown Castle down in um, Wexford. So then we have another rowan, a horse chestnut, a rowan. Oh, and here's some willow right here. These are some willows here. Then over here, there's another rowan and a rowan. So we've done a sort of grove of rowans. These are all rowans that uh, grown from seeds, so they're small. So I'm gonna have to mulch all these guys. Another horse chestnut. And this is another bird cherry. So two bird cherries have been planted out. And I've got more cuttings of more bird cherries, so I'm gonna put more bird cherries in here. But I'm gonna make it a very thick plantation because Trees are going to die, trees, trees are going to live, and I just have to put now those two fence things across here, and we'll be letting the yews in this field later. But um, that is a glen turned into a grove, or a baby grove, or a coppice. A small coppice of trees, depending what country you're from. Ah, my nephew left his coffee cup here. His father went and got him coffee to get him to come down. He's a very busy fellow. Ah, there we go. I better take that in. Anyway, that was a huge family event, which was great. So over the years, they will be able to watch the trees grow and remember this day. It was um, four nephews and nieces, 
my parents, my sister, my brother, my sister-in-law. So it was a family event. Okay, if you two stand there. just starting to rain. We did that just in time. Giddy. Come on, Maya. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on.
girls. come on.